if you are trying to send an audio message or a message in whatsapp to a certain contact and if you see that you cannot send it then let us see how to fix this issue now the easiest thing what you can do is to restart your iphone sometimes simply restarting the iphone also fixes many of the issue since i have an iphone x so if you have to restart the iphone i have to press the on off button and then this volume up button at the same time then i can slide the power to the right and once the iphone is completely shut down i can again press this power button and then restart the iphone once you have restarted the iphone open whatsapp and check if you can uh, send the message again from the whatsapp now the other common issue which causes this is because of the poor internet connection in your iphone so if you want to check whether there is internet connection in your mobile or not try open a site and uh, check if you can open the website or not for example let me try to open google and if the website's open that means i have internet connection in my mobile if you don't have internet connection in a mobile then what you can do is switch off the router if you are using wi-fi for few seconds and again switch on the router and check if there is internet connection in your mobile or not if you are using cellular data make sure that you have data package left in your iphone after you make made sure that you have internet connection in your mobile but still you cannot send a message to a contact then the next thing is to make sure that the contact must not have blocked you in their whatsapp so how can you make sure that the other contact has not blocked you in whatsapp go to whatsapp open the contact and once you open the contact what you can check is you can see the status at the top you can see this uh, person last checked whatsapp at 10 35 am that means around two uh, two hours before if you cannot see the person last seen status then you can be sure that this person has blocked you in their whatsapp also if you know that the person frequently changes their whatsapp profile picture and if you cannot see the profile picture changing then you can also be sure that this person has blocked you in their whatsapp also if you try to call the contact and if you cannot reach them if it shows busy only that means this person has blocked you in their whatsapp so if that person has blocked you in their whatsapp then you cannot send the message to that contact now if the other person has not has not blocked you in their whatsapp but still if you cannot send the message to the person then what you do is check if there is an updated version of whatsapp available in the app store for example i will open this app store and i will check whatsapp and uh, you can see there is open on the right side of whatsapp messenger that means my whatsapp is updated to the latest version if not you will see your option here update in that case update the whatsapp messenger and try to send a message to the other person now the last thing what you can do is you need to delete the whatsapp from your iphone and again reinstall the new whatsapp now once you delete the whatsapp from your iphone all of the chat which are present in whatsapp will be deleted so you need to back up the chat at first and then reinstall whatsapp messenger again so that you can get back the chat for example what i will do is i will go to whatsapp i will open it then i will go to settings here i will go to chat i will select chat backup and then select backup now so you can see my chat are being backed up to the icloud so once i finish backing up the icloud i will delete whatsapp application and reinstall again so let me wait for a few seconds so once the chat is totally backed up then what you can do is go ahead and tap and hold on this whatsapp icon and then delete whatsapp select done so once you delete whatsapp what you do is go ahead and open app store then look for whatsapp and then select git in order to install whatsapp now you need to press this side button to confirm the installation of whatsapp now the whatsapp will start to download and install in my iphone so i will wait for a few seconds 
so once the whatsapp is installed i will open it then select agree and continue whatsapp would like to access your contact okay then whatsapp would like to send you notification you need to allow then i will enter the phone number and then done now i have the option to restore the chat history which you should always do select restore and then you can see the chat history is being downloaded and it will be installed in my iphone so once it is restored i will select next and i can enter the name for my whatsapp contact and then done so you can see the chat is being restored so let me wait for a few seconds so once the chat is restored you will be able to find all the chat here thank you for watching this video please like and share this video if you found it helpful also click on the subscribe button and hit on the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos for free